Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... At least they got the easy way out, I guess. Let's keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. And Kenny's back in the game. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Yeah, but as I was saying earlier, if there's any reason at all to keep Ben alive in episode... Uh, there, was a, <laughs> there was a lot of stuff I wanted to say over those last scenes, but I just haven't cut a break with story time. But um, if there's a reason to keep Ben alive in episode 4, it's for that scene with Kenny where they're shouting. It's just fantastic, and it reveals, I think, a lot about Ben's character that I think you'd miss if you killed him in the episode before. And you reveal, I think this whole episode you reveal a lot about characters, but I, I think I'll talk about that at the end. I don't want to slow down the game too much, so... Let's keep on going. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. Better I'm not going out this window. Kenny, do you want to talk about the, some of these revelations you've been having recently? Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Man, Lee's still got that cut in his face, I've just realised. Ten points for continuity, I guess. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Really? Why would Crawford have got them? They look healthy. They looked fine. I don't see why Crawford would have wanted to kill him. You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Well, everyone's feeling very morbid. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. This is that you guys all mope around. This not worried about the fact that I'm missing an arm or anything. What do you call this thing? Art? <laughs> I do like Omid's little puns, how he keep making hand gestures and references and stuff like that. And the thing with the guy's face, I just... I enjoy all of that stuff. you got to have your jokey character to make everything just flow better. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Okay, the guy with one arm first again. Why should I be surprised? You would think someone else would go first and maybe sort of catch me if I don't quite make it. But no, one arm bandit to the rescue. Let's use that bloody, extremely painful stump, shall we? If a dude with one arm can make it, there's no reason why you can't. Is it Omid like, reaching for a hand? It's like, did nobody think that I would need one? Oh, Kenny, you and your fat ass. Ben! Well, that doesn't sound good. 
It's kind of like a Final Destination moment. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? It's kind of like a Final Destination moment. Whatever happened, he was gonna fall off a high ledge. Someone's gotta stay back. In case. Come on, man! And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Kenny! <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm okay! Okay, well stop shouting then, because we won't be. Man, who would have thought Ben would I'm survive okay. that? Just get me out of here! I just slid. Ow! How the fuck did this happen? Please just get me up. God damn it, Ben. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, just don't panic. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you. It looks like he managed to miss every bin bag and soft item on his way down. And just land on the painful one. <laughs> Standard Ben, eh? Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, mate. Get you up. We can. Uh... Ow! Oh, God. If he'd be quiet, then maybe. But Kenny, this is fucking serious. He could die just by moving him wrong. I won't move, Ben. Uh, I think we may have bigger issues than that right now. <laughs> Ooh, that was a new one. Fuck! And normally they just recycle the same wall because that guy looked different. Oh god, don't let them get to me! He did say it was his biggest fear to get eaten left? by those things. There's only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! What the fuck, Kenny? Lee. Lee, it's okay. Katja wouldn't want this. Damn it, Ken! Yeah, she would. I either save the kid or I get to see her. Either way. Now get back up there. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Damn it, Kenny! God damn it! Oh, fuck! Kenny, please! They just sat there and watched the whole thing. My god, lend a hand, will you? What happened? I was if you didn't know. You were just watching. Keep an eye out my butt. I don't understand in that scene why Kenny had to stay down there with him though. I mean, I know he was putting him out of his misery, but he could have just shot and then got behind the gate with me. God damn! God! I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God. Poor fucking kid. <laughs> Poor kid, Kenny just got eaten alive. <laughs> I hope the moustache survived. 
Note to self, we got to go back and look for the moustache. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. And that's the end of the original group, I guess. He wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Right behind you. The thing is, you never actually see Kenny dead at this point, but apparently it's just they even came out and like released a statement saying that he doesn't survive that thing. Although it'd be cool if when season two of Walking Dead comes out, if he returns as a character, that'd be pretty awesome. So, well, do you want to talk? Talk about the loss of the mustache? Yeah, cut me right up. That's two on him now. The motherfucker who's got Clementine has been in Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. We would be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. What are you trying to say? You're leaving me on your own now? Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. Fuck. Be careful across here. <laughs> How many times is Lee gonna fall off stuff? Or are other people gonna fall off stuff? There's a scene coming up. It'll be here, it'll be here in a sec, but it's, this isn't really spoilers or anything. Where, uh... Instead, Kenny would save the life of Krista instead. But I feel saving the life of Ben just had such a greater, like, link into the story. And if he'd saved Krista, it would have been a bit kind of like, well, alright, that's nice. <laughs> Where was the real story progression there? Saving Ben, I think, just did a whole lot more. River Street's just up ahead. It was right here, down this said hole. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. And I don't know where the next meal is. No, they don't. I... Uh, I didn't mean... It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. He makes all those hand puns and all those hand jokes, and yet... <laughs> he says that, and apparently that rolls Lee up a little bit. And then you see Kenny's moustache as a walker. <laughs> Just wobbling along the floor. Ugh, I need hair follicles. <laughs> Hey, I remember this bit we were here earlier. Marshall's Hotel is round the corner of the block. This is where we were in episode four. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? <laughs> You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. See, everyone thinks that saying you two go first is the nice thing to do, but... I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Because everyone else that I've spoken to and seen always makes them go first, but I think the safer option is for Lee to go first. If that thing's gonna fall, do it to the guy who's dead anyway. Plus, Lee's a hero. <laughs> Plus, they've already made him do everything else with one arm. Just go nice and slow. Oh, I was gonna do some tap dancing across it, Omid. Come on, do a frog splash off the top, Lee. Show him who's boss. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Now you've just gone and jinxed yourself, mate. Shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, how? How are you gonna pull yourself up? Shit! You've only got nubbing? Are you okay? Fine. 
But I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I've always been a firm believer of going out in a blaze of glory. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. <laughs> it's time to get our killing on Lee. Oh, no, seriously, wasted talent, man. You should be like a gymnast or something. Look, the way you mobilize with one arm is impressive. Oh, you can tell it's episode 5. <laughs> the ominous stop sign behind Lee. And out of the magical pocket comes the machete. Time to die, girls! And boys. I like how they've come up with some new Walker characters. And they're not just repeating the same ones for this bit. Oh, I've seen you walking around. I've been wanting to kill that one for a while. I love like the Lone Ranger kind of cowboy music going. Perfect. 